Three. I am uh, I am Owen, and me and my brother are opening the cocoon of a cecropia moth. Okay. Open it, Noah. Do it. So hold on, hold on. What what do you see on the outside first? It's rocky. Well, it's, it's rocky and has strings. It feels rocky. Hey. Yeah. It's 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 easy to crush on the outside. That's it. Okay, Ow. and what is all those hairy stuff? It's all the silk from from the caterpillar that spins this. Because the caterpillar is what a type of is a type of moth. Silk. And when we found silk this, moth. we we also saw the moth. Okay. So, so now, I think I just cut it from here. Yes. Just make a small incision. Do it. Hold on, right here. Your scissors is sharp. Just make a small incision from the top, but don't puncture down. Act no. Make a small incision like this, and then cut. It's hard. See how? Okay. Now just Try cut to along, be very yeah, careful. cut along the top so you don't puncture I the inside. I can't see no one cutting. Hold on. Oh. Don't don't push your it too far down. Okay. Pretty so hard. Just cut it in be, Just cut a long line. Why are you going sideways? Cut a long line down to the bottom, and then cut a long line down to other. See, you're cutting to the side instead of down. I'm trying to make a small hole. Let's see well, what's you can in kind there. of see inside. Oh, that's fur. Yeah, it's string. Yeah. What were the layers? I can peel it open. Can I peel it open? Hold on, let me see what's inside. And so we there. pulled <laughs> open the first layer, yes? Yeah. yeah. What is sure. the first layer supposed to do? Just to protect the cap inside. How? By blending in as leaves and it's like hard. Okay. And why it looks like it here, you want me to finish cutting it? There's a small air pocket right there. What do you think that serves? It, What's the purpose of that? It. Uh, something about the winter freezing and stuff. What do you mean by that? Can you explain it to, to the people watching? What about no, winter? I gave her a toy. Is this milk filled up? No. Oh. Help. <laughs> it prevents the character from freezing. Because why? Why would it be freezing? Because it, it stays in its cocoon for the entire winter. So the one that we found, right, where did we find it? Uh -oh. uh, our dad's work. Yeah, it was just sitting, it was uh, stuck to the windowsill, right? And we saw it like last fall uh -oh. or summer in it, fall. It was, it was in May. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. And then it finally came out and emerged. Then... When? What time? So, like two days ago? Yeah. And so now we're anyway. deciding to open it up. Okay, so let's put it down and let's see what we got so far. So it looks like yeah. there's multiple layers. So we just cut through the first layer. And like Noah said, this moth um, over winters in this cocoon. So it's several months. It. No, it's okay. And I just don't miss it. So it needs multiple layers for insulation. 
Uh, oh. Lily gave you your milk and you found it. Okay. Now the caterpillars. Okay, let's put it down so we can see it. So this is the outer layer right here and this is the inner layer. Okay, put it down. So we can see there's the outer layer. Mm. And even the inner layer is kind of crunchy on the outside, right? There but Silky. It looks like an so egg. Now there should be a pupa on here. The pupa already came out, so we're just gonna see. Do we the have a, skin. Do we? Do you see an opening there too? Yeah. yeah. There's a small opening. That's where the moth came out of. I like the furry part. Over here, there's a small opening at the very top. 